it's windy of course Wellington always is and many in these parts think that England require the weather to assist their limited style well let's see what Martin Johnson has to say about that and of course in the back line Carlos Spencer is back King Carlos at number 10 Spencer was the Super 12's top scorer and top playmaker too the computer says these are currently the best two sides in the world so it must be true well in fact it is true it's the champions of the two hemispheres it promises to be a terrific occasion down the middle from Wilkinson and a good chase from Tyndall good guy out of there 12 out of there 30, out. Marshall get out Find Spencer, and it's charged down by Kay. Delay from Spencer there on the kick, and England get the first Holding penalty. On. He's nailed Spencer's error. Good start for England. Terrible start for Spencer. By touch. The All Blacks spreading across the halfway line in the All Black team with the injury to McDonald. The All Blacks Dang now it. get their driving game going. Good tackling back from the England back row, only there in the nick of time. Rocco Focco in his debut match. Ball comes flying back. Just don't breathe. It stayed out. No weakness there. Tana, Umanga and Ma Nomi. And then Howlett and Rokothoko outside. How about that for a back line? Marshall, Spencer, space is limited. Can Spencer find some? Rokothoko. Marshall, Spencer, Umanga, Spencer again. Now a bit of space. Rokothoko, out it goes to Caleb Ralph. England need to make the tackle and they do. Lucy and Robinson. In comes Marshall. Lost by Umanga, turnover ball for England. Ben Cohen against Rokothoku, lines him up the Fijian born. Winger for the All Blacks, makes another tackle. Great reception, he was saying, back in Fiji to his All Black selection. They're very proud of him. Marshall again, they're encouraged by the crowd to go now. Howlett feeds it out. Chance for maybe Rokothoku outside, but Spencer says, no, I'll go. And look at the pace of Spencer. He's motoring away. Howlett on the inside. On to Marshall. Still with Marshall. Rokothoko. Cohen with the tackle. England now stretched to the absolute limit. Two of the back row are now having to watch from the bench. Delalio. Well, this could be game. England are going to have to be unbelievable. Get the seven points as far as New Zealand are concerned as Marshall plays his final part in this game. Steve Devine is on at scrum half. Back and Delalio itching to play a further part themselves. Bracken. Robinson. Oh, Robinson almost through there. Tackle back from Devine who's got pace. It's another invitation to run it back though. Howlett. Rokothoko. Out to Nonu. Curran is waiting. Making sure the winger didn't take the outside line. I don't know how many replacements played in 73 when England beat New Zealand. But you can bet your bottom dollar it wasn't money those days. Many. There's no tactical substitutions. Less than 20 Englishmen have ever won in this country. So we see Rokothoko go as well. Hasn't quite worked for Rokothoko. And his replacement is Mills Muliaina. Like Rokothoku makes his debut today. No All Black wants to go down to England at home. And Muliaina seemed to put a foot there on the line. The touch judge in a better position said no. There goes the siren. There goes Greenwood into touch. And there is history. England have won in New Zealand. A hundred years of All Black Rugby and now add to the famous victory of 1973, 2003 and make no mistake, 
This will be more than just a page in the history books. This is a chapter, and every one of these England players will love to read it in the years to come.